This is what I've been waiting for, guys. The final days are coming. Why? Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are having amazing extra piece around you. Five cents in the red today, right? Because Bitcoin is plummeting, guys, or dumping. I want to see Bitcoin at 53.6k to 51k, guys, right? I'm going to buy more XRP here. It's probably going to be our final chance to buy. Why? Because this is quite strange if you ask me. Now, guys, you're the telephone part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is quite interesting. Mr. Pool once upon a time tweeted this out, right? Uh, this video out on 8 15 2022, a two year delta. And it says, when you know it's your last chance to so use your paycheck for more XRP, right? How did he know though? It seems like it's our last chance, guys. This dump that's happening right now, I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. I've been waiting for this dump to occur. It's probably our last chance, right? Before this appears, guys, right? Before this portion appears and then the black swan, but we're going to go higher uh, next next year, right? Not to mention today is I freaking love Thursday, so who's ready for some fun? Mr. Pool, Mr. Pool, Mr. Pool. I hope it's our last chance to buy, right? Uh, to buy with our paychecks, guys, uh, or these at at the, at this cheap of a price. It's time on eight fifteen twenty twenty one a three year delta green let guys on eight fifteen. Okay, now I hope they dump a little bit more though before they truly pump it. And I have been waiting for a pump, guys, because um, I really don't want to hold cryptocurrencies through a recession, right? Even though the recession may take may not take that long. But still, we want to take advantage of these huge volatile moves, right? So I'm hoping they pump it here. I'm cashing out. Then I'm going to wait. Recession hits. We buy the low. We buy their fear, guys, right? Um, and we ride it towards a collapse, basically. Because it seems like on 8 15 21 a three-year delta, the train is about to leave the station, right? So get, get, give us a few more days, guys. Or at least give us till next week. Um, then pump it, right? So, the finish line is here basically because we are establishing more secure way uh, of transmission target September, don't we see, right? I really hope, guys, because that will match up with our theory. Remember, September, what, 18 is when the Federal Reserve will start, will probably start cutting rates. What does that mean? The dump or, or the black swan probably happens months after, right, if not around that point, right? Remember, October 6th is the final appeal date, right? So we'll see what happens, guys. But things are getting quite interesting because, quote, four days after the death of my hero JB is the last chance to buy, end quote, grandpa, okay? But check this out because what if J and B equal 12, right? Plus four days is uh, the 16th, guys. And 8.15 is our last chance to use our paycheck for more XRP. That means 8.16 is our last chance to buy because on 8.17, we start pumping. Um, 8.88 from David Schwartz will come out too. 8.17, 2.24 as well because it's all 8s, right? Uh, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping they keep dumping it, guys, because I want to see lower prices before I uh, add more, even though, like, it doesn't even matter wh where you buy, right? It's our, If things are already cheap, guys. If we are going to see this mini blow off top occur now on this specific day four years ago Dave Richards was just relaxing right current status he's um, chilling guys right I wouldn't be too worried because he probably he knows what's upcoming on this day as well guys right this a lot of connections for today now a wave right a tsunami um, a buildup of water, guys, or liquidity, right? 8.15, the timestamp, but check this out. Spain this morning, guys, right? So watch the water most definitely, but I'm pretty sure this is like um, a symbolic way of saying how liquidity will flow into the crypto markets. I hope so, right? How they'll inject liquidity for us to pump um, here soon because I don't know, the stock market is rising. We're going to be talking about all about it in the next video, guys, but I have this strange feeling, I really do have this strange feeling, guys, right, that we're right here, we're about to experience this part, right, or more so like that, guys, right. I don't know, I have this strange feeling, and, and, and we are dumping right now, it's probably our last chance, I have no clue, this isn't financial advice, please like today's video, though. But the real question is, how did he know, though, right? 
I don't know. But 815 timestamp, he did post this. And then on uh, 815 timestamp, we are one. We cannot be stopped. Right? Smiley faces. Right here, guys. It's all 815, right? ESC. Hmm. Is that how he knows, huh? Interesting. On 815, uh, he posted about Donald Pump, but then this is what Donald Pump stated today, guys, a couple hours ago. Trump has said, I am announcing that under my leadership, the Nazis will commit to the ambitious goal of slashing energy and, uh, and, uh, and electricity prices by half at least. Your energy bills will be down 50 to 70 percent. And there we go, guys. Isn't that a positive? Right. <laughs> that's, that's insane. But 815 right here. A submarine, right? Military. Germany's ex spy chief says there were agreements between Zelensky and Duda to carry out the attack on the Nord Stream pipelines. Well, you look at that, guys, all today, right? What? Whoa. So we have a lot of interesting narratives building up, guys, right? Dif uh, between tensions between different uh, different countries, enemy countries, rising and rising and rising. It's like an eruption is about to take place. I know for enough. I know for a fact, but um, there's probably going to be some type of black swan, guys. But Mr. Pool's telling us to possibly buy, right? This isn't financial advice. This isn't. This isn't. This isn't. But Mr. Pool's telling us to possibly buy because it's our last chance to buy at these cheap prices. Right, I'm guessing what's going to happen here is they're going to pump prices higher before the black swan enters because of a, uh, it's like a mechanism to price protect their own assets, right? Because this is what I mean, guys. Let's say the black swan enters right now. This would have this that would this would um happen to XRP, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Instead, let's say the black swan enters in a, in a couple months from now, and they start to pump it, right? Then the black swan enters. Look at that, right? That's the bottom. Instead, if 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 they didn't uh, raise prices higher, the bottom would have been down there. Do you guys see what I'm talking about, right? So, very interesting because here comes another another narrative. The WHO warns, um, it's coming, guys. Basically, right? Look at this. Sweden has reported the first case, guys. Wait, well, look at that. Right, so things are accelerating with the MP, Mr. Poole, weird. Well, because the 12th monkey's release date was uh, Year of the Pig, guys. Year of the Pig of 2007 and 2019 prior to the financial crisis in 2008 and 2020. <gasps> Wait, look at that. Right, they're foreshadowing a black swan is coming, guys. Again, the recession. I mean, the, all the indicators are suggesting the same thing. But over here, they're going to print $20 trillion. Right, and, and we ride it back up. But before they bring upon this damn black swan, pump pits, please. But first, actually, dump it slightly. I need to get in, right? Um, and longs and all sorts of stuff. So MP would come out too. Three fourteen. It's all planned, guys. And we have other other narratives. Um, a major blackout occurred in Osaka, guys, Japan. Wow, affecting over two hundred thousand households at one point. We look at that. It's a possibility from Val Jester. That the hacks and blackouts will happen here in America on a Thursday or Friday during a payout, right during a payday, when people cannot utilize their money when needed the most, it will fuel civil unrest. Prepare for that day. That's that's during the uh, collapse. Not yet though. That happens in a couple years max. Billionaire investor says thinks the United States is heading towards a financial crisis. Oh, of course. Who called it first? We did. I called it since November of 2023, and I and I called it to the to, to a T that Bitcoin will reach. A new all-time high before the halving, and number two, which uh, people thought it was impossible, there you go, dun dun dun. Number two, um, the blacks will happen around the same time the Federal Reserve starts cutting rates. That happens on September 18th, maybe a, a one to two month delay. Elections, election season, exactly. The Great Switch, right? They know that this will happen, guys. The Great Switch will occur at some point, right? Look at this, flipping the switch on new systems. I mean, this was planned centuries in advance, as Big Short stated, right? Uh, the technology has been built, guys, the infrastructure is set, but the flip of the switch now depends on regulatory approval, don't we see? So you can see that switch is happening already. Exactly, as the switch is already happening, right? This is IMF, um, but I'm trying to figure out... 
interesting. The IMF didn't um, the, one of the IMF people talk with Brad Garlinghouse guys, right? If I remember clearly, it's all coming out from Smoke QG, Democratic leader. Uh, aiming to pass crypto legislation by the end of this year. JP Morgan predicts stablecoin bill to pass before elections. Russian international cryptocurrency transactions plus CBDC starting end of 2024. UK's stablecoin legislation end of 2024 as well. Fair market value of crypto revealed end of 2024. Hmm. Mega crypto regulation full implementation in the EU end of 2024. Hmm. Bull cycle underway, guys. Uh, again, that's end of 2024, right? That's so strange. Let's say the block zone happens October, November. End of 2024, they start printing. Or in the year 2025, right? And then the bull market officially begins. That's where the demonic run happens. Really odd, if you ask me. Whoa. What will take the most advantage of this bull cycle? It's XRP, in my humble opinion. It has to be XRP before the bull run ends. I hope $90, guys, because breaking Ripple's chief counsel, the SEC cannot appeal the ruling that XRP is not a security. XRP has a clarity. XRP case is about to conclude. I mean, it already basically is, but we're, we're waiting for this final um, light, guys, right? And all this all this suppression will have to lead to an explosion, right? From Stu Alderodi. Look what he says about the SEC and the case remaining. Are they going to appeal or not? Because we're at the finish line, basically. Nothing in this case advances the coordination of the SEC. But we all know that when it comes to crypto, the SEC has proven itself not to be rational. In fact, the court, in our case, criticized the SEC for engaging in litigation gamesmanship and tactics rather than faithfully applying the law. So I wouldn't be surprised if the SEC does appeal. Uh, but I'll say a couple of things. Number one, and I think this is important for folks to appreciate and understand, XRP's status as not a security and the secondary market trading of XRP as not security transactions. That is the law of the land and that does not change even if the SEC appeals. And I would ask everyone to focus on that. Nothing. There we go, guys, right? I wouldn't be surprised if the SEC does appeal, though they probably won't because due to the elections, right? The SEC and look and look at all the pressure they're getting. The SEC is demonstrating that they cannot win this battle, right? Logic prevailed with Judge Torres' ruling, guys, exactly, right? So are they going to embarrass themselves more? Probably. I mean, they already are fully ashamed, I think. Ripple's involved in cross-border payments, tokenization, every avenue, guys. I told you guys, a household name. So do we see what's upcoming? I surely do believe we hit the timeline on its head. Not funny to waste. No, the fun team for today's video. So it begins, right, 214, 121, 121. 1, 2, 1, let's see where the 121 will come out to 8.15, right, last last paycheck. Come on, guys, I'm so excited, let's go. I know, I feel like, again, we're going to rise, but I hope we see a slight dump first because I need to get in. I'm already all in, though. I have a little bit of money on the sidelines waiting to inject. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, but anyways, I'm super excited. But anyways, so face, face, face. see ya. Prepare for the black swan, though, in the coming months.